everybody. Hey guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. And I'm Jeremy. Also known as the Show Pony. <laughs> and as you can probably see, the more astute of you would have already noticed that after what's probably been maybe 12 months of you guys asking <laughs> for Massey merch, we finally got around to it. I know. Um, we wanted to wait until we had 12,000 subscribers just because that's what you needed to do with Teespring in order to get them to help you out with your merchandise. And so, we're there. We've had someone really wonderful design these t-shirts for us based upon some of the things that we say on the channel. And there's more t-shirts coming. It's tucked in time. Yes. It's being worked on as we speak. But the first two that we have for you are... Hello there, ladles and jelly spoons. And, and I'm a show pony and not a work. Did you have to read that to actually know what it said? Yes. And you say this all the time. I know. <laughs> you silly boy. <laughs> um, so yeah, so these two t-shirts are now available by going to our store that's actually on our YouTube channel. And if you don't know where that is, let me tell you. If you go to www.youtube.com slash C slash Matty Art Studios. It will take you to the landing page, the home page of Matty Art Studios. Yeah. There you can see our videos, but our, one of the options across the top there is store, and you'll be able to click on that link and you'll see these options. Now, not only do we have t-shirts, we also have tote bag and a mug. Yep. With um, I'm a show pony, not a workhorse <laughs> on it. Slightly different design. <laughs> we've got gents tees and we've got ladies tees. Um, Jeremy and I are both wearing the extra larges. Yes. So these are the men's extra larges that we've got on right now. Um, but please, if you want, go grab them. You can get them delivered before Christmas. They are there, right there for you now. And keep an eye on that store because there's going to be a lot more stuff added to it over yes. the coming weeks and months. But we're super excited to be able to offer these So excited. Oh my God, so excited. It's so much fun designing these things too. And there's more to come. All right, so what about this episode? Oh my gosh, we have such a great episode planned for you. We're going to be doing some really interesting things we today. Do. A brand new technique. Yes. When I say brand new technique, it's a, it's a technique that's been used before, but I'm going to do it in a way that I don't think anyone has ever done before. Nope. And that is the kissing cups on a straight paw, but I'm going to do three kissing cups. How are you going to do three kissing cups? Well, let me tell you, show pony, because <laughs> they've only got two hands. But thankfully, with the show pony in the studio, he's going to help me with another hand and another cup. Yes. So um, I say it's never been done before because probably people haven't had the opportunity to have a show pony or a hashtag <laughs> studio hubby help them along. And that's exactly what he's doing on this one for yes. me. So we've got some really delicious Sarah Mackian colours yeah. for this pour. Um, we've got some beautiful greens, some beautiful blues, and some beautiful purples. Mm -hmm. Custom colours that I've mixed up myself just for some of them. Um, and then you're going to do what? Well, I'm going to be doing a uh, split cup, mm -hmm. but a, what do you call it, whenever you turn the canvas? Turn it. The canvas. Turning the can. Yeah. <laughs> a straight, you're doing a straight pour. I'm doing a straight pour. Right. But on a lazy dabber. There you go. Yeah. Using the split cup. Using the split okay, cup. Okay, super cool. Um, I know that there's a couple of those that I've done on the channel, which I really love. Yeah. And, um, but I don't know if you've done one of these before. I, you know, I've tried them in the past. So this is a whole new experience. Like right. I've only done them a couple of times. So it's, you know. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's a journey that we do in front of you. So, right. you know, you get to see everything. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what happens on this one. We yeah, haven't poured these yet, so you will find yeah. out with us. Um, on this Friday night premiere, we're not here. Nope. Um, if you're premiering this with us and you're in the live chat, we're not going to be around, unfortunately, because we're at my holiday party for work. Yeah. And I couldn't stop that in order to, uh, to do this chat because I'm also the boss. So, um, yeah, I have to be there to do my work party. But the patrons, and maybe even Mina, maybe Cheryl, maybe Sarah, definitely the patrons are going to be taking yeah. care of you whilst we're here. So thank you so much for watching this episode. It's still going to be a premiere because we love the fact that you guys just chat. And we're going to go watch it at the end. Yes. Probably tomorrow. Exactly. All right, guys. That is it. Less waffle, 
more painting. Let's get to the table. Let's get to the table. We'll see you there. Well, hello, ladles and jelly spoons, just like the t-shirt that you've just seen me wearing. Um, it's Lee here at the, <laughs> at the table. What a cacophony of beautiful colours. It's a smorgasbord of colours here. Um, I'm doing something really exciting. I don't think that this has ever been done on YouTube before. I certainly couldn't find it when I searched. And that's because normally people don't have three hands yep. in the studio, but I do because we've got the show pony here. <laughs> so what am I gonna try and do? Well, I'm gonna try and do a three cup kiss straight pour onto this canvas. I'll show you what that means very shortly. Let's talk through these colors. I got a 20 by 20 that the show pony has yep. back pin sprayed for me. It is super tight, yep. tight like drum. And I've got some really wonderful colors. So starting here with this one, this is a custom color that I've mixed and it is light bismuth yellow from Golden. And I mixed that with a little bit of the olive green light from Amsterdam. It came out a beautiful color. It did, it came out this really beautiful kind of like yellowy greeny color. And I wanted that because I wanted something lighter to contrast with this one right here. And that is this stunning turquoise phalo. And to that, I've mixed some Deco Art 24 karat metallics gold. So it's a beautiful, beautiful peacocky color. Here, we've just got Amsterdam, and this one is permanent red violet light. Beautiful, shocking color. We right used that there. a lot in the can. Yeah, we have done. I'm going to use it sparingly in this one, but it's there. This color right here is a custom mix, and that is cobalt blue hue mixed with some of this delicious phalo blue by Amsterdam. So that's another Goldens and Amsterdam mix. This one here is a color we love. This is Am uh, Arteza's, Arteza's Pearl Glacier Blue. Love that one a lot. And now to some more custom colors. This one is um, Caput Mortem Violet mixed with a little bit of Deco Art Metallics Garnet. And that's this color here, so it's like a beautiful burgundy color. And then we got 24 karat gold by Deco Art Metallics. And then we have white Amsterdam's titanium that's mixed with a little bit of satin enamels. And that's the Deco Art satin enamels. Now, exciting news for everyone at home. These Deco Art Metallics and Satin Enamels paints, you can now get through our affiliate link on our website, uh, sorry, on our YouTube channel. If you just go to the description box, every time you see us mention any Deco Art colors, you'll now see an affiliate link as we are now affiliates. affiliates. Yay, it's so exciting. Um, Deco Art reached out to us and, and we are super excited about some collaborations that we're gonna be doing with Deco Art going yeah, forward. Yeah. So some really, really fun stuff on the way. So what am I gonna do first? First, I'm gonna layer my cups and I'm gonna do three of them. So I'll probably do one of them with you and then I'll layer two more off camera, but they will be layered identically. And these are nine ounce cups that I'm gonna layer into. Lots and lots and lots of little small layers. And then I'll be back back to you. So, show pony, we're gonna layer this one cup here. And to start off, I'm gonna get into the bottom of this cup, a little bit of the white and satin enamels mix. Nice. Then a little bit of the gold, knowing that these are gonna come out last. I get a little nervous putting gold next to white. I know you do, I don't know why. Then a little bit of that lovely olive green mix. Keeping these layers fairly tight and small right now. In fact, they're probably gonna be really small layers all the way through. Oops. Some Pearl Glacier. Now some wonderful blue. Touch more gold. Touch more white. Let's get some of this garnet color back in. Get back in 
with some phalo. Some of that blue. Lovely Arteza. Mm -hmm. You're going for that gold. I am. There's a little bit of it in here. All right, that is one full cup. Now, let me layer two more. All right. All right, peeps, so I've got my three layered cups right here. Next thing I'm gonna do is actually put a base coat of white down on this canvas. This is my titanium white from Amsterdam mixed. It's about 50% Flow Troll, 25% Liquitex Gloss Medium, 20% paint, and then 5% of this is actually some satin enamels. So I'm gonna get this pot of white on this canvas and get this flooded. All right, people, two, two people, three hands, three cups. Thank you, Show Pony, <laughs> for the assist here. Um, like I said, I don't know if this has been done before, so this is going to be a, an experiment indeed, but I'm definitely going to see what happens if we can get these three cups kissing on this canvas. Show Pony, are you ready? I am ready. And we're gonna straight pour them. We're not going to be worried too much about going yeah. up and down. We're just gonna Perfect. be worried about getting this in the middle of the canvas. Okay. But I'll start and then you join me. How about okay. that? Okay, Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna come down a little bit. All right, let's do this. Okay, wow, what an interesting composition. This is gonna be really interesting to see what happens as we, as, we, as we tilt this one out. I'm loving it. Uh, well, I'm kind of loving it so far, but let's have a look. I was gonna wreck it, but I'm absolutely not gonna wreck it. Oh, I'm so glad. Given the fact that there's actually a fair amount of wreckage on this just because of the way that we straight poured it. Yeah. Okay, so that is our three cups on the canvas. I am, however, gonna torch it. So let me torch it off real quick. And of course, as everyone who has a YouTube channel knows, the minute that we start filming, the lawn mowers all start coming I know. Around. So I apologize for any background noise. I'll try and reduce that as much as I can. Show Pony, can I ask you what time it is? It is tilting time. It's tilting time. Another t-shirt that's on the way. I almost looked at my clock. All right. <laughs>
Wowzers. So there you have it, folks. Goodness gracious. Okay, so much to see on this one. Um, tons of huge, big, buttery cells on this. Um, you know, there's a lot of gold in the middle, but that's how I laid my cup, but I don't I don't hate it. Um, I think that I need these big bright centers in order to just give your eye somewhere to rest for a little bit because there's a lot of chaos everywhere else. But um, I love the colors. I'm really excited about how this one came out. I've just torched it. I've just got my edges. Let me take you in for a close up so you can see this one too. Thank you guys. Hey guys, it is Jeremy here and I am so excited about today's pour. Um, I'm going to be trying something that has given me a little bit of a challenge in the past. What's that? And that is a split cup. Uh -huh. Yes. And as you can see, I'm doing a four chamber split cup here. Right. And I got those colors that Lee picked out today are stunning. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen with them whenever I use them uh, on this canvas. I have a 16 by 16 inch canvas. It's been, it's gallery wrapped, it's tape, it's on the spinner. Ooh, yes. that's, that's Gillian's spinner. It is Gillian's All spinner. All the way over in Northern Ireland, top of the morning to you, I can't do an Irish accent. Um, <laughs> but we will absolutely, and I always forget to do this immediately and then go back and do it. I'll put the link to Gillian's spinners in the description box. Well, that is very nice. I apologize, Gillian. I always forget, but then I always go back and do it. Yes. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get to layering my split cup here. Okay. So let's see here. So I'm going to start with the white. Okay. I'm going to go in this chamber chamber here. And then some gold. I don't want to put too much gold. A little bit more white. I'm gonna do just a touch of gold, a really light layer. Some more white. Now that split cup holds a fair amount and you've only got it a does. 16 by 16 inch canvas so you don't need to fill every chamber. I would say that that's probably enough. Really? Yeah, once you put your last layer of gold on. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise you're just gonna have a ton of paint left over and you're not gonna to get to the bottom layers. Got it. Perfect. I'm gonna stick those over here for now. Okay. Then uh, next chamber. Yes. Is I'm gonna use this this mixture that you made. It is. That was a concoction. custom color. That was the cadmium. Uh, no, that was the yellow from Goldens, and I mixed that with some of that olive green light. Yeah. I'm now going with this phthalo turquoise. Mixed with 24 karat gold. And you guys can never see this like we see it, but it's just this most beautiful peacocky, shimmery kind of turquoise yeah. color. So pretty. A nice healthy layer of that one. 
a nice healthy layer of this one. Now just think to match your layers, as in the height of the paint in both sides. Got it. I think it's almost there. I think it's exactly there. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Good, good. Okay, next. I'm going on with this blue. Delish. That's the Arteza next. Yes, the Arteza is next. This Pearl Glacier Blue is delicious. Lovely. Yes. I think I need just a little bit touch more blue. And then your final chamber. Love it. This is permanent red violet. And then this gorgeous garnet. Yeah, that's the... Um that was the stunning red violet and then the garnet mix. Yeah. Thank you, Deco Art, for some delicious colors today. Perfect. All right, guys, so I got my uh, base coat here. I'm gonna go ahead and flood my canvas. And I got my Oxo spatula, which is awesome to help me flood my canvas. And you can find those actually in our description box if anyone ever struggles to find them. I know. We've got a link to exactly where to get it on Amazon. Love me some Amazon. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, guys, here it goes. I'm so excited about this. So... Let's get to pouring. Hey guys, okay, so I got my composition down. I'm gonna go ahead and spin this out. Do it, big boy. Yes. Spin it butt out.
Okay, guys, so before the lawnmowers take over, mm -hmm. um, this is my composition. I really like this. Um, I got this really great feathering effect, and these cells are just awesome through here. Um, I'm still learning this technique, so, you know, you guys are here on this journey with me. Right? Yes, but I do like it. I like it a lot. So, we're going to go ahead and take you in for a close-up so you can see this, and yeah. Let's do it. my edges and clean up my sides, and that sounds like a plan. Yep. Get All to right. it, big boy. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. What did you think, peoples at home? Um, Jeremy, let me talk about your split cup first. Yes. What did you think? Um, you know what? I, I really like the outcome of it. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more pop from the the purples and the pink, that, that, that uh, red-violet color, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit more from the green, but... You know, it's very interesting. You never know what's gonna happen when you start pouring these. And like I said, I really like what happens, but mm. I was a little bit, the blue kind of went away too. Yeah. Uh, but I know. think, uh, so if I could offer any advice, I loved Please. the way that you layered your cup. I think that was spot on. Yeah. Because I saw you alternating the lights and the darks yeah. in each layer. I just don't think you had enough of them in there. Got I it. maybe would have done just two layers. Oh, I see. A thicker layer of one, lighter color, a thicker layer of the darker color. And I think that might have helped. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. But it's Next good time. because you can just play around with it. It's exactly. one of those things that it's like, it's really interesting just to keep playing. Less white and gold next time too. Yeah, or, or, or yeah. That's a possibility, isn't it? <laughs> or maybe you could have actually thrown in a black in the middle of the white and gold. True. Just something else to True. play around with. And there's a lot to do with that technique, and I really loved it. But I still love your outcome. Thanks. Um, I really enjoyed that triple kissing cups. I mean, wow. Just wow, honestly. Now, there was a lot of it on there. It was very chaotic. There was a lot of humongous cells. At one point, I stopped because I was going to leave negative space on the corners. And the show pony was like, no, 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 keep tilting because there was a lot of fun to it. I don't think that there's a lot of places for your eye to rest on this one because it's very chaotic. I like the light, bright, gold and white center because that least is somewhere so to, to rest the eye. But um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. It was a lot of really fun colors on there for sure. Why do you need to rest your eyes on art? Because <laughs> you, really you don't, don't want to be like this. Because <laughs> that would just be confusing and painful. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're, we're, there's always supposed to be some right to rest. I loved it. Okay, well, I'm loved glad it. you liked it. You said you thought it was my best pour ever. I do, right? I do. Well, thank you for that. I'm not quite so sure. Well, what did you guys think at home? please leave a comment in the comments box because we'd love to hear from you. Yes. If you haven't already, please go and subscribe to Discovery Plus. Yes. Because Meet Your Maker Showdown is on every week. We've seen soap and we've seen candle making. You've still got paper, stained glass, polymer clay, yeah. and then Fluid Art is going to finish off the episodes on Christmas Day with myself, Marcy, Mixed Media Girl. You've got Anne Upton, who's a TikTok sensation, and Garrett Brown all pouring yeah. and Karen from Waterfall Acrylics is the esteemed judge who's going to be judging the show. That's so, awesome. So yeah, all the names that you know, it was a lot of fun filming it, so please, if you've got the opportunity, take a look at it, it's going to be really fun. That is it, peeps. Yeah. Please like and subscribe. Uh, have a great evening, everyone. Thank you for being here. We will be back on Sunday and we're going to do a live. Yes. To make up for the fact that we weren't here. So um, I think it's going to be at 11 o'clock Central, mm -hmm. which is 9 o'clock Pacific or 12 o'clock Eastern. We'll go live on the channel on Sunday and we'll probably start a train. Yeah. So um, come and see us then for some shenanigans. And um, until then, have a great evening. All right, guys. We'll see you very Bye, soon. Bye, guys. Bye.
And now to spank the Patreons. Spank the Patreons? Yeah. Who are the Patreons? Yeah, well, let me tell you. <laughs> the Patreons are a really special group of people um, that have joined us on our Patreon account. Now that is a very special account to our YouTube channel. Yeah. And over there, people can opt into certain tiers or certain levels. One level will give you sneak peeks and behind the scenes footage. Lots of little secrets about what's going on in Massial Studio. At another level, you'll get access and invited to a WhatsApp group where the show pony and I <laughs> chat, we share pictures, and then we set a weekly painting challenge. Yes. At a different level, you also get access to an exclusive once a month live stream that isn't aired on the YouTube channel. And at the platinum level, you also get access to a once a month tutorial where we do like a real deep dive into a, a technique or yes. something that the guys, the platinum patrons, really want to know about. Now to spanking those people. At our gold level, we have Trisha West, Terry Leshner, Tammy Hasbrook, Stephanie Hancock, Sharon Luffy, Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrelli, we have Nate Bright and Misty Tyson. We have Mama Doulas, Linda Serien. We've got Kelly Stowell, Janice Swansea. We've got Jane Klein. We've got Gloria Salaki, Gillian Kennedy, Donna Panis, Donna Patterson, and Amy Gardner, AKA, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Oh, that's a lot of spanking. It is a lot of spanking. Well, the spanking continues okay. with the platinum level. Right. Who is Susan Shepperson, Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Elaine Burton, Dana Foxley, and at the diamond level... Hey, you all know her, love lover. <laughs> Sparkles! <laughs> Yay, I've got a sore hand from all that spanking. <laughs> so to you guys and everyone else down below at the bronze and silver level, thank you so very much for wanting to be with us, for the extra support, and uh, for wanting to take a little bit of extra interest in Massey Art Studio. Absolutely. Thank you guys.